Oh, uh, today is um, day eight of uh, Dashing Through Trash, and it's our sort of bootleg Famicom, grab bag, bootleg Famicom, uh, dumpster diving. We're, we're going to play what I believe to be some of the best bootlegs that exist, minus a few that have been pulled uh, so that I can play them at another time, but... Um, these are ones that don't necessarily warrant their own night, but they are pretty cool and uh, should be a lot of fun. So anyway, let's jump in. Oh, this intro is, uh, this, this, uh, this tile set feels like it's pulled from, um, uh, Little Nemo. It feels it feels very much like Little Nemo. Oh, maybe it's just the um, HUD is making me feel like Little Nemo because I think the HUD does look like it's stolen from Little Nemo. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm a rabbit on a skateboard. game over situation is in this game. I imagine, as with most bootlegs, not ideal. I missed! Oh, those are checkpoints. Uh, at least I think those are checkpoints. Or did I just start at the beginning of the level again? No, that's that's a checkpoint. Wow, wow, nice game. Oh, uh, you cannot just uh, taz the the bears. The bears do not give a shit about you tazzing them. Jump is extremely tight. Holy shit. Look how tight that jump is. Okay, so that's our game over situation. Here I am, doing everything I can. Okay, so you instantly fall if you spin. So if the bears can't be killed, and jumping them is incredibly difficult, are they just pretty much a guaranteed health loss? Or a guaranteed way to lose my skateboard, I guess. You get a... I hate to say this, I'm sorry. You get a little bit of coyote time on the edges of platforms. I need to make sure I'm using that to, uh, to get the distance I need. What am I supposed to do with them? That bear is Oh, that's the end of the level. Okay.
Oh, the pineapple kills you. <sighs> Normal. Some of you out there who have a pineapple allergy are feeling really seen right now, you know what I mean? like this. You can't pay for representation. Oh, fuck, it's a bear! Do I know the lore of this game? Bugs Bunny. Did I get it right? If you mean lore, like, how did we come into possession of it, I know that you found it for Cuso Grande. I don't know anything else about it. His name is Bertrand J. Rabbit. And he's here actually to check in on whether or not you have adequate coverage uh, for life insurance. Are your loved ones taken care of in the unfortunate eventuality of your demise? Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Something tells me I'm not going to make a lot of progress in this game. Kickflips! Oh, shit. kickflip I've ever done. I'm not even gonna try to jump over the bear. Live and let live, says I. Pass that guy without getting hit? Hey, this pineapple situation kind of fucked up if you ask me. And then the wolf eats him. I'm getting past the second level. I don't know that I'm going to accomplish anything else in this game, but I will get past that second level. I call this next trick a uh, what's up doc, which I'll then transition into a 360 burial. McTwisty. Is McTwisty a real thing? I think it is.
Mm, so I'm gonna die here. Okay. That's fine. You win some, you lose some, you know what I mean? Just called a McTwist. I think that guy's always gonna hit me. Can I... Can I... Oh, you can regain air control. So, if I'm standing against this and I... Uh... Jump up, I can't hold right to, like, land where I want to. But if I... Use the spin, I think I can? Yo, it's smite. Any idea why I don't have auto captions? Let me check. Oh, I do know why, actually. Um, hold on, I can fix this. Okay, uh, it should be working now. Thank you for letting me know. Something I had changed, I didn't. I didn't uh, realize how it was going to affect my auto captions. You can just like, you could just straight up run off a platform and jump anytime you want to. Am I, did I get that right there? I mean, this game was obviously made by sickos, but, like... Sickos can make games, it's okay. It's no longer coyote time, it's just like, that That just becomes infinite jumping at that point, or infinite coyote time, or air jumping. Air jumping is the word I'd like to go with. I've just, I've landed on air jumping, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. No thank you, I'd like to be dead. Trying to see how much yeah, it's kinda of, it's kinda of DKC jumping, isn't it? I'd like to see if I can get out of the first level with all my lives. I'll have no health left. But who needs health? What what's that even used for? Health is for people who plan to take a hit. I have an idea of how I could get over that bear with uh, my trusty skateboard. But I can't seem to slow down enough for it. These cars aren't gonna go anywhere, they should move. Oh my god, you can't slow down enough. Is there, is there any way for me to get over that bear? I don't feel like outside of, of the skateboard, there's any way for me to get over the bear, so... Kinda... not confident in this? It's fine, I'll 
I'll just keep going and die midway through the level so I can get to the second level again and try it again. Oh, man. Quality entertainment. Like, you can't attack when you're in midair. Or, sorry, you can't attack when you're on the skateboard that I can tell. So how am I supposed to deal with two birds? That's more than one bird. You just can't do anything about that, it feels like. You're gonna take that hit. <laughs> that bird is like in a really inconvenient spot. If you pull back, you can't jump anymore? What kind of nonsense rule is that? Who's making up these rules? So what's that guy's deal? I don't see how I'm gonna... Oh my god, I actually managed to hit that guy without... Okay, that's pretty impressive. Okay. We're making some moves. We're making some moves, you know? None of them are good moves, but... Okay, just gonna take that hit. This is such a brutal game. Alright, but I do feel like a renewed confidence to hopefully be able to beat the first or the second level. I don't I don't see how a human can reasonably beat more than that though. I'm sure there's speedruns of this game. As soon as I say like I think something's too hard. I mean I've I have speedrun games for lesser statements. I have I have uh I have speedrun games for, for weaker, weaker arguments. NPC has run this? It's fucked up. Why am I just taking hits? The the tractors are garbage. Okay, all right. This is the one, though. This is the one. Believers, are you out there? Do you believe that this is the run where I can make it out of the first stage 
without losing a life. Do you think that that's going to happen? I hear a lot from the doubters all the time, but the believers are staying quiet. right there is wildly placed like maybe you can bait it out maybe that's what I'm doing wrong is I keep thinking like I can't make that jump without taking a hit but maybe you can maybe I just need to bait it wait kill it and then jump I've already got two guaranteed hits in this stage. I've already got two places where I'm guaranteed to take damage. So taking a random hit on anything else basically resigns me to taking a death here. Oh? Did I find the secret pattern? Okay, I, I've seen. There's a double jump? Wait, only with the skateboard, perhaps? I don't see a double jump. How do you do the second jump? What? What? There's no way that's intended tech. This is Beauregard T. Bunny, but his friend refer or his friends call him Bugs. Okay, now now I just I feel I feel like I have to I have to see through the matrix. I have to I have to absolutely be able to start reading the code, you know. Well, sometimes you just get hit by a car, you know what I mean?
what is with that? What is with that bird right there? You know what I mean? They put these birds in very specific locations so that you say, Oh fuck, what'd they do putting a bird there? And that's, that's the whole reason. That bird was designed for that response. But in Russian. I don't know how you say that in Russian. How am I alive? This is the one, I feel it. This might not be the one anymore. Yeah! Get on, idiot. Okay, well I felt a little too cocky there. Out of here, I'm about to do it. <laughs> Towers in shambles. Piss. Is intended then? Why would that be intended? What? <laughs> what? Hey, this sucks big time! That sucked a lot.
Alright, this is gonna be my last attempt, no matter what happens. I'm just... Like, whether or not it's a win or a loss, this is gonna be my last attempt of wait and see for tonight. I'm, I feel weirdly compelled to come back and beat this. Why do I... Why do I have that compulsion? What's... What's wrong with me? I know I said that would be my last one, but, I mean, if I'm gonna bother attempting it, I might as well try to have a decent run out of world- or level one. Otherwise, this is a waste of my time! That's Daffy Duck, by the way, if you didn't recognize him. He can be a little tough to distinguish, but that's Daffy Duck. That's him. came back. He's like, no way, I get another chance. My contract says I get a second try. Sorry I had to do it to you, Smite. That's a death pineapple right there.
I get hit there? What? a lot of inputs, you know? Real, real game of inputs going on here. Where are my, where are my fighting game friends at? Just so you know, if you want to play this game, a lot of inputs. More swamp? Come on. This guy hands me- okay. Easy level. Easy game. That fish is going to kill me whether I'm spinning or not. Oh no! He... He didn't. That carrot. You can't keep Beauregard Bunny from his carrots. That's what I'll tell you. Okay. Sonic is a sturdy fella. So that is wait and see. You have waited and seen two levels of it. So I'm going to put up a poll for another game. Let's see. Game number two. Next poll coming up. Uh, let's see. I'll put Journey to the West back on there. I'll put Lion King 5 back on there, Titanic for sure, um, let's do Chinese Wizard of Oz again, and who's going to join the list? Is it going to be Master Chu or Secret Scout? Let's do Master Chu, um, because... Secret Scout is um, a doozy. I did, but the whole reason why I speed ran Secret Scout was because I found a skip in my Cusa Grande match. Like, I found a really big sequence break in my Cusa Grande match, and I was like, well, someone has to speed run it, which is a statement that I've learned over time isn't actually true. Um, I've, I've actually learned that it's okay for no one to run a game ever.
it's a it's a tough lesson to internalize, I think. Can't not vote for Titanic. This is your version of Titanic, Jeff. I just feel like it's going to be more fun. Not for any censorship reasons. Most of the bootlegs I've ever speedrun have been games that were, as you say, foisted upon me at Cusa Grande. Go ahead and get your votes in. Um, most of these I have some speedrun experience with. Um, did I ever actually finish? I, I did finish runs of Lion King 5. I remember that. Lion King 5 is a rough one. <laughs> You're still milking this thing? Nice. Yeah, I couldn't remember uh, if Lion King 5 ever got uh, finished, if we ever finished a run of it. But now that I'm saying that, I do recall it. No, I'll give it. I'll give it another minute. It looks like it's pretty locked in for Titanic, so I might just go ahead and go and just do shorter polls in the future. I don't know why I put it up for five minutes when it seems like we would have been just fine doing it for like three minutes. Titanic won't be the same without bro commentary. <laughs> I'll probably read the text. I, I won't I won't put on bro's voice, but Alright, um, I'll go ahead and, and boot up Titanic. No reason to wait any longer. It seems like it's pretty locked in at this point. Unlikely to change in the last minute of the poll. It's time for Titanic. Uh, I'll try to explain a little bit what's going on while I go through it, but first... In 1912, there was a noble American girl, Rose. She tried to get away from her arranged mar married, which is forced by her mother. At the same time, she met Jack. Who is the young man on Titanic? Since Rose made a friend with Jack, he lighted on her life. They were also fall in love with each other. It made up a very touching and tragic love story. Rose did not love her fi finance, Carl, and she just wanted to suicide to finish it. Fortunately, Jack just saved her. They were both very fond of each other. Thus, Carl was very jealous and dislikes Jack. He tried to insult Jack and he hold a dinner party to thank Jack for Save Rose. Actually, Carl did not really mean it. He just had a chance to challenge Jack. Wisely, Jack knew about Carl's plan. He left this party and brought Rose together to join the party, which is belong to the workers. Of course, Carl hates Jack very much. 
Okay. So this is a side-scrolling beat-em-up, obviously, with a kind of a platformer element to it. Um, you can attack pretty fast by, uh, like, um, mashing the, the A and B button sort of in alternation, like this, while ducking. It's actually fast enough that, um, most enemies just get totally stunlocked by it, so like, like this. <clears throat> There's like a cooldown on most attacks, but the, if you, if you crouch and just mash A and B back and forth, like tap them alternating, um, you lock up most enemies, so. Hey, don't throw glasses at me. Got that rat. That rat didn't even see it coming. I'll also have to kill this rat. The reason why you can fight so fast when you're crouching is because for some reason a duck punch uh, cancels other animations. So like, when you duck kick, uh, you can duck punch to cancel that animation and go into another one, um, which is really good. Uh, the interesting side effect of this, however, is that because death is just an animation, um, you can cancel the dying animation as well. So it's like, totally possible to just never die. When Rose was very depressed, and she met Jack again, both of them all have the strong love to each other. They trust and adore each other, and enjoy the sunset on the Titanic. Jack promised Rose to draw her a body sketch. Ooh, sensual. Um, also, the, the scrolling in this game is uh, has a fixed max speed. So, like, it won't scroll indefinitely. If I just stop, uh, it won't scroll anymore, but I can't push it faster than this. Oh, that fish gave me the business. Well, come and get me then, jackass. Oh, you can just scroll him off the screen? Nice. I did not mean to fall in the water there, but hey, good for me. Good for me. Oh, you don't like the dithering in this game? Whoa, you can't just pull out a gun, man. Alright, there we go. Knocked him into the water. Because of Jack's painting skills and his courage attracted Rose very much and she loves him deeply. However, Carl didn't give up the Rose. He still wants her back, but Rose did not love him at all. Carl hired some people to chase and to watch Rose and Jack when they were running. To the front of the Titanic, they saw the accident happened by their own eyes. Uh, yeah, I can see it a little bit. The the sort of patterns you get from 
the screen scrolling. They, uh, they aren't attractive, that's for sure. Hey lady, hey lady, stop it! Yeah! This boat has no edge, so I can't just knock him off of it in this one. Okay, you're just gonna like soft lock me here or something? Didn't think so. You don't have you don't have the fortitude for it. You don't know how to do an old-fashioned soft lock, my guy. What a wimp! After the Titanic accident happened, the crew members did not tell the facts to all the passengers because they were afraid to cause the passengers' panic. But the Titanic had the strong damages and it was getting sinking. Unfortunately, there is not enough saving equipment to save whole passengers' lives. Life. At that moment, it showed the big difference of noble people and poor people's fate. Wow. Isn't there a way to jump down to... There's a way to jump down. Oh, you wanna- you want me to show off the good animation that Rose has? It'll take a second, but I'll do it. Uh, it might be better in another room. There was some flicker from sprite limits. Pardon for a moment. got that one up. Oh, is this all that's in here? Okay. For some reason I was thinking this was the room where you fight that next boss, but I don't think it is. Her low attack doesn't hit low enough, it feels like. There was a trick to this. I don't remember what it was. There was something where you could get it to let you jump down through the, the floor. I got my Dr. Pepper. My hot Dr. Peppy.
Hey. We're just trying to escape from the ship. Why are you beating me up? There were no survivors, but I'm surviving. Not anymore, you're not. Another hot Dr. Peppy. When's the last time you had a hot Dr. Peppy? Uh, you may not have noticed, uh, but because the bottom level is, like, underwater now, um, I'm drowning sometimes? Right now I'm in a weird state because I already died and revived, um, using the glitch, but, uh, if you're underwater you just lose health constantly, so you're supposed to play faster. Or don't, I can't tell you how to live your life, you know. This guy's got a shotgun and he will shoot me with it if I let him on screen, so best case scenario is I kill him before he gets on screen. When the Titanic was sinking slowly, Carl libeled Jack that he stole the necklace of the heart of the ocean and locked him at the bottom of... Titanic! It was very dangerous and he probably will lose his life. Rose was very anxious about Jack's situation, and she escaped from Carl to save him. At the same time, the captain ordered every passenger to wear the life jacket. The one life jacket. There's one life jacket for everyone, okay? Please pass it around. If you're not using it, consider passing it on to the next person. I just can't believe that he libeled Jack and said that he stole the necklace that was the heart of the ocean. Kind of a jackass move, my guy. You know, not a lot of people are talking about this, but I, I think Carl might have been the bad guy in Titanic. No, we're going this way, buddy. We're going this way. I got a plan this time for you. I got a plan. Nope. Oh, he had the same plan. And he's better at it.
That's true, Carl couldn't have been the bad guy, he was rich. Rich people are morally precluded from being evil. It just can't happen, so. Alright, I got him this time. I got him. I got your number, my guy. Get fucked. That's set play, baby! That's set play! The Titanic had sunk. Although Rose and Jack got away from the Titanic, they could not reach the lifeboat. Finally, Jack scarified himself to save Rose and tell her, be stronger in her future's life. Then he was dead in the cold Atlantic Ocean. When this accident happened, there were 1,500 passengers fell into the ocean, and only six lucky passengers survived. It was a very low chance to survive. Then, there were 700 passengers who were in the lifeboat. Just one lifeboat. They only waiting dead or waiting the help and waiting the unforgettable relief. Beautiful. Gilder, thank you so much for the raid. Sorry, I was touched by the story. I love this one. I love it. Have I ever played with the debug mode? No, I haven't. I'm a big fan of Rebecca Carroll. Is that two people? Is that one people? Is that two people? What a good game. All right, welcome everybody from Gilder Stream. We are um, enjoying some bootleg games. I'm gonna put up a poll for our next game. We are playing some of my favorite bootlegs. That's the that's the point of tonight. Uh, we are we are playing some of my favorite bootlegs. So game number three, baby. We're making good progress. Journey to the West is back. Uh, we still have Chinese Wizard of Oz. Uh, the Lion King 5, great. Um, Master Chu and the Drunkard Who. And now, added to the list, is Secret Scout. So I'm going to give you three minutes to vote on which one you'd like to see next. Gonzo Sayuki, Super Monkey Daiboken. That's not the Dragon Ball game for the Famicom, is it? Bookworm, thanks so much for the resub. And Gilder, thank you so much for the resub as well. Some of these are worse... Uh, some of these are worse than others. Um, do one of these options not cause suffering? Uh, the one that's probably the least suffering on this list is Chinese Wizard of Oz. It's, uh, it's fairly beatable. But I'll give you a few minutes uh, while we vote on it. I hope everyone uh, is having a great stream tonight. Um, Gilder, I, I was enjoying your stream so much that it took me a while to get started myself. Is Chinese Wizard of Oz better than SNES? Well, it depends on what you mean by better. Um, I, I like Wizard of Oz for the SNES, so, like, you're kind of... You're in bad company here if you're looking for me to dunk on it. I kind of like it. It's it's whack, but it's 
I like it. Um, but Chinese Wizard of Oz is a real treat. It is one that uh, I hope that we get to tonight. It's been second in every poll. I know. In terms of difficulty, uh, uh, Lu Ye Shen Zong is uh, probably way easier. Like, night and day easier than Wizard of Oz for the SNES. Wizard of Oz for the SNES is the only game on that day for dashing through trash for a reason. Because even with one day dedicated to it, I'm not certain that I'll finish it, so... Yeah, it looks like uh, Lion King 5 is going to win. So I'm going to go ahead and, and boot it up. Yeah, everyone waited the dead or waited their eventual rescue. Okay. The vast majority of people who are here to watch Lion King 5 are here for exactly one reason, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rush it down so that we can get it out of our system. Bear with me for a second. Okay, I'm, oh, hey, I'm sorry. I thought you were already done with your show. That's my bad. No, okay. I, I didn't turn okay. I thought I was being a little noisy. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. All right. Well, if you're here, uh, if you if you voted for Lion King Five because you know Lion King Five, here's the reason why you know Lion King Five. It's the only reason most people know Lion King 5. <laughs> anyway. So let's uh let's get to the actual game. Sorry, I, pol I apologize if that was actually troubling for you. At this point, I kind of expected most people were aware of it. Yeah, they didn't, uh, they didn't fuck around with the, uh, <laughs> with the bootlegs sometimes. Sometimes they just, like, did whatever they wanted to. Okay, so there's no level here? I did not find level there. Uh, no. But they, uh, all do probably somewhat troubling things, um, in their game over animation. I don't remember what the other ones are. I want to say, like, Puma prepares himself for dinner. I don't remember exactly what Puma's thing is. I I do apologize by the way. I I didn't even think that I I didn't even think about the fact that I should probably have content warning a handful of you, uh, or anyone who would have benefited from that, so I, I apologize if, uh, if that was 
uncomfortable. It's easy for us to joke about the fact that they made a cartoon character do that, but... For some people, that's a little more uncomfortable than just cartoon character. Oh, climbing up these clouds is impossible. They made them bad on purpose. We'll see how long I play this. I do remember this being just absurdly difficult to make real progress in. The second level in particular is pretty rough. Is that... Is that not it? I thought that was the end of the level. I don't remember what... I don't remember what I'm supposed to do with this. I remember that- I feel like I remember that being where the end of the level is, but I don't remember what I have to do to go there for the end of the level. I'll be honest with you. If, uh, if I struggle too much with this one, I'm probably going to move on quickly because we literally saw the one sort of, like, quirky thing that people know this game for. We we've already seen it. Why is it called Lion King 5? Because Lion King 1 through 4 were already taken. I'm just gonna make a game and call it Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah, this game is about as whack as, uh... NES bootlegs generally are. They're they're not balanced, they're frustrating. And the second level is almost the worst defender because the second level is basically a giant door maze that's way too long. It's, it's, it's impossible to get the timing here. I'm gonna be at level one and then I'm gonna call it for this one. This one is wild. Fuck you, my guy! Just jump when I press the jump! I pushed it to jump! Come on, Simber. Yeah, I could show off some of the other characters. Though, I'll just give a preliminary, or a preemptive uh, content warning, because I don't remember what their Game Over animations are. The only one I ever remember was Simba. How are these clouds supposed to work? Not well, is the answer.
When is the when are you supposed to press the jump button? If I press it early, no jump happens. If I press it late, no jump happens. What do you want from me, game? There was a glitch I encountered just a second ago where you could, um, where if you turn around on the right frame, you don't fall. Now I want to figure that out. What the hell is this game? I'm, I'm trying to, like, I'm, I'm trying to take this seriously and interrogate why why the input is failing. I'm trying I'm trying a bunch of other things to see if I can get something to work. Maybe it's maybe it's trying to run when I land. Maybe that's the mistake. Let's look at other characters. Timon. Yeah, he's got apples. That's Timon's thing. Apples that don't seem to kill enemies? Excuse me, Mr. Frog? Yeah, yeah! Eat some apple! Eat some apple! How do you like that? I refuse to say the, the idiom on principle. I'm better than that. You're all better than that. I love that his crouching animation is just like him laying down dead. And then he does a little dance if you don't move for a second. Okay, that's a... Why did that dance get horny? Is Timon canonically a horny character? We'll try to give Timon a fair shake. I forgot to turn on my timer, it's okay. timing for jumping when landing. I 
feels like this should not, the timing should not be that difficult, but I'm having a real bad time with it. Watching him die while dancing is, uh, it was more satisfying than I expected. Hey, watch Timon do a Fortnite dance. Hey everyone, watch Timon do a Fortnite dance. Alright, I guess content warning. <laughs> this, one, this one was surprisingly less dark. I kind of anticipated it being more dark, but it was definitely less dark. Uh, Puma's very strong and kind of fast. Can't jump very high. Was the game tested for Puma? Because I, I worry that maybe he's extremely too low of a jumper to make it through this level. Puma has been the only one so far with a run button? No, you just pick one character at the beginning of the game. You're extremely giving it too much credit, yeah. Alright, we're gonna see what uh, Puma's animation is and then I'm gonna move on. Because while I've definitely... <laughs> I've definitely got the world record in this, probably still. Uh, I cannot for the life of me remember how to control this awful game. And the only emotion I'm feeling right now is annoyed by it, so I will not. Smurble beat my time? Ah, oh, fine. Smartwell would do that to me. Okay, yeah, he just jumps into a boiling pot. Okay, so the darkest was by far Simba's game over animation. Alright, well, I forgot that this game sucks so much. Game number four. Our choices are going down. Uh, Journey to the West is back on the menu. Chinese Wizard of Oz. Master Chu. And the Drunkard Who. And Secret Scout and the Temple of Demise. Those are your options.
I I considered allowing you to dump gamer points into this poll, but then I decided against it. There's a boss fight I had to do before looking for the exit? That makes sense. <laughs> Whoops. It's not a button I wanted, but it doesn't hurt anything. ROM info. Supported. Could have allowed bits. I I generally don't want to allow bits for polls. I um. I mean, I don't think it hurts anything, so to say, so to speak. But I just don't want anyone to feel like they have to. Determined to go forward. Yeah, thanks for the reset, Reverend Gumby. And thank you, Carrie, for gifting a sub to the real Simba. Um. I I just I don't want people to feel like they have to spend money to contribute or to participate in the channel. I just don't like that way of thinking in general. I don't I don't take issue with anyone else enabling bits for polls. I'm not like trying to high road anyone. I just don't I don't care for it personally. <sighs> also gives a nice breather to just get to wait out a three minute poll. Man, I remember Lion King 5 being brutal, but I, I thought it was going to be brutal like I was going to have a really rough time with the second stage, not I wasn't going to be able to jump on a cloud. That was that was uh, worse than I expected. Just want to know if there's going to be anything else extremely disturbing in these bootlegs coming up. Well, so truth be told, I remembered that that was um, the game over screen. It just didn't really cross my mind that I should probably warn people about it. It just I for for whatever reason just a lapse in judgment. But I don't I don't think there's anything else like that in the remainder of these games. Nope, you're good. Alright. Are you ready for The Wizard of Oz? I can't read Chinese, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to allow it to power through the, uh... The text here. Yeah, I think you know the general story of the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy gets hungry in the middle of the night and decides that her only real option is a White Castle burger and a isekai of some sort happens at that point. That level select- oh, this is from Mickey Mouse Capade, for sure. Yeah! 
get frigged. So everyone's familiar with that age-old tale of the Wizard of Oz. So I don't think there's any real surprises here. The, this, uh, this enemy right here is from, uh, uh, what's the name of that game? Don Don... Obviously there's Dorothy as a skateboarder, y'all remember that part. Look at me, Morty! I'm in a Chinese bootleg! God says. The, the level select. The level selection screen reminds me a lot of um, Wizard of Oz for the SNES. Pretty, pretty standard Wizard of Oz fare here. It doesn't start getting weird till later. At least right now you should recognize everything here. Alright, this time is the real one. This time it's gonna be different. This is the second Chinese bootleg we played tonight that had a skateboard in it. Were they all just like really big Tony Hawk fans? Because I respect that. I too am a big Tony Hawk fan. Dorothy, your health. Not looking so good. How do you make that jump? Do you just not? Is that the answer? A lot of you who are acting like this isn't faithful to the Wizard of Oz uh, are really kind of showing your ass out here, because while this may not look like the movie, I mean, 
Are you just are you just willing to openly admit on the internet that you've never read the books? The books fucking go places. Hey, who are you? Yeah? Can we just take a moment to, like, really appreciate Dorothy in this picture? Yeah, that's a that's a haunted doll watch if I've ever seen one. Exit. You got it, boss. That almost killed me. So Dorothy has plenty of health left. So does Scarecrow. Why does Scarecrow have so much health left? I've taken so much damage. I kind of expected to almost be dead. Okay, well that's unfortunate. So Scarecrow's just dead. Like, for good. They took all the wrong lessons from Wizard of Oz for the SNES when they made this game. Seems to me he's dead for good. Yeah, get him. Get his ass. Uh, oh, okay, this way. 
you remember when Dorothy fought the frog dragon? I'm just kidding, that was in the books. That frog dragon kicks ass, though. Tell me that frog dragon didn't kick ass. Okay, so... Scarecrow is still dead, notably. Game over. Okay, all I have to do is make sure no one ever dies. Actually, doesn't seem so bad. I've been doing that for myself for years. Somewhat successfully, I might say. Not on my watch. Gotta wake up a little earlier than that. That's a move I have? When did I get that move? I forgot all about that. I think I used that on the final boss in the, in the speedrun. Yeah, I've, I've speedrun this pretty extensively. I've actually tasked most of this game. <laughs> that was a bad time in my life. Yeah, this game rules. How are you doing health-wise, my guy? Could be better. Like, I almost fell to my death there. Alright, we're making progress again. We're back into it.
Okay, I forgot mechanically how the balloons worked. But now I remember. If you're sitting on the balloon, it just falls. Like, it'll you'll die on it. I want that. It's gone. It's no use. I keep getting heart pickups, I should be able to keep making progress. Dorothy's dead? Alright, Scarecrow, it's all up to you. You're the boss man now. You're in charge of everything. I'm sure it'll be okay. Alright, well that's that. Yeah, I didn't remember the game over situation being so brutal, though. That is kind of a running theme with bootlegs in general, though. They very often are not, like, built around what would be the most fun thing for someone to play. Like, they work. They work, and that is... The detail, I hope you enjoy the attention to detail. No word. Thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody, I'm Author Blues. We're playing uh Lu Yi Shen Zong. Um or Chinese Wizard of Oz. How's the trash? It's good. We're doing Famicom Grab Bag today. I picked out seven of some of my favorite Famicom bootleg games, and um, I'm putting up a poll every time I finish one with a selection of other games that you can vote on to play, for me to play. I mean, you can play them too, I don't mind. Right now I'm getting my ass kicked by Chinese Wizard of Oz. Okay. I'll just take uh, this level from the top. Scarecrow is dead. Rest in peace. No. Rest in piss.
wonder if you get enough bubbles on screen if you can start to despawn some of these enemies. That would actually be useful. Dorothy, I implore you to stop getting hit by everything! Come on, Dorothy! Damn, frog, frog dragon's out for blood. Alright, uh, I might come back to this one later if time permits, but I'm gonna move on so that we can see some more things. No. There we go. Ah. Some of you, this is your first time seeing anything Wizard of Oz related? Well, just so you know, it's entirely faithful to the source material. Game number five? Is this game number five now? So we still haven't done Journey to the West. We still haven't done Master Chu. We still haven't done Secret Scout. Y'all have saved all of the Color Dreams games for the end. Is it because they sound too good? Is it because I've made them sound too good? That's my bad. Alright, I'm putting this one up for two minutes. You got two minutes to vote for this one. I mean, arguably, the Color Dreams bootlegs, or Color Dreams unlicensed games, or whatever you want to call them, um, are the most competent of them. The problem, so the main problem with me putting Journey to the West up here is there's like a dozen Journey to the West games that have been made. Um, you have no idea what Journey to the West game I'm I'm talking about most likely. I mean, unless you've seen me play it or you happen to guess the right one, but there's legitimately a ton of Journey to the West games. Um, so maybe you picked the right one and it's the legendarily bad one. Maybe uh, not. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, especially considering that a lot of these bootlegs are Chinese in origin, and of course Journey to the West is going to be a topic that they might make games about, so... The only um, licensed Journey to the West game I'm aware of is um, the Dragon Ball game. Yeah, Dragon Power, I think, is actually the Japanese name for it. Super Monkey Daiboken. Isn't Super Monkey Daiboken just uh, Dragon Power? Isn't that the same game? Alright, Master Chu time. Master Chu is almost certainly my my most hated uh, Wisdom Tree, or Color Dreams game. I really don't like this game very much. Uh, I mean, I guess that's not true. It's just... 
I think it's one of the least fun ones. Um, oh yeah, you definitely shouldn't be picking based on how much I say I like a thing. Okay, my fan... Okay, so that's the attack button, huh? Okay, and it's up to jump. Of course it's up to jump. Every bad game is up to jump. If you've ever played a bad game, it was up to jump. Alright, see, see ya. See ya, Master Chu. Oh, did I not start it? That's my bad. Got him. So basically the way this game works is every single stage you're hunting for the uh, yin and yang symbols. Once you have all of them from the level, it teleports you to the boss fight, and then you repeat. But a lot of them are just hidden, so I mean it's absurd to find them. These are the Dragon Balls that I'm collecting. Got him. 
I don't know. I think I'm Master Chu. Boss fight's way easier when you have, uh, when you have, uh, directional shots. Looks like we found a little loop that worked. Oh, no. I had a little loop that was working for me. Try not to run out of lift. Okay, we'll see ya. What? That fire hurt me? Yes. I deserve that. This game might be more playable than I remember. I think the last time I played this, I was thinking about in terms of a speedrun, and I was like, of course I don't want to speedrun this. going okay.
Alright, well, I'm just gonna rush him down then. Doing okay. Yeah, that sounds the, um, the invincibility. Wish it weren't such an aggressive sound, though. You can stand there? Yes. Found another Dragon Ball. This is actually going kind of smoothly. I mean, I'm sure it gets way harder. I remember it getting harder, but... God, it's very hard to hold on to power-ups in this game. Okay, I have a power up going into the boss fight again. I think it, I think it's only like 12, 10 or 12, something like that. Maybe this is the last fight? Thank you. 
I mean, I'm, vul I'm invulnerable for a moment. I'm gonna use it. Nope, that's just round nine. Huh, okay. Once again, that power-up was short-lived. Still have two lives left. Maybe I can beat this? Fire God even be defeated here? Usually you can just shoot where the fire is coming from and it'll... Oh yeah, that, that did do something. Oh, where did I continue from? All the way back here? Is that good? might be a bad situation for anyone trying to complete it. Okay. 
This game feels like it's probably way easier if you can hold on to your power-ups. Like, you just... Unbelievably... Easier, because you can just... Damage race with three shots on screen at once. Well, that was it. If I can find another power-up... Just have to hold on to it. Never mind. Is there any way up there without... I guess for those in particular there are. I kinda just want to game over on this level and see if I can get the triple shot into the end. Nerd Retro, thanks so much for the resub. I think we're just gonna see what happens if I game over on this level. Because if I've already lost a life and I'm going in with weak attacks, it's not gonna matter anyway. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish. But if I could possibly get the triple shot into the boss, I stand an outside chance of being able to hold on to some of those shots.
You can't scroll the screen back left without without getting hit. Okay, so both of them are gonna hit me on my way back left. I can't I can't miss anything because if I do have to go back left, I will take a hit. That's very good. Yeah. Yeah, you lose your power ups from getting hit. Alright, we're gonna try it again. I feel good about it. I feel good about my chances. I don't actually feel all that great about my chances. I'm gonna get that triple shot into the boss rush. It may not be enough to win, and I may lose it, but even if I lose it, taking it in should get me a good start at least. Oh, okay. So there's there are a limited number of game overs. All right, we'll try it one more time. I think now that I have a better handle on how to do the boss fights, um, I think it might go better. Messed up. Messed up. Especially if I can get, like, a bunch of lives into that boss rush. Not off to a great start, but, you know, we'll see. Oh, come on, I lost both of them instantly. It's fucked up.
Regrettably, this guy might be a Mulana. Derogatory. Lightning bolts are impossible to dodge. And you don't have enough time at the start of the fight to clear out all this fire so that you don't get hit. This is such nonsense. Of course I'm fighting a tree, I don't know what I expected. Hey, up to jump really sucks. It really sucks for doing anything precision. Some of the things that you collect just happen to be directly over required damage, so nothing you can do about it. So dumb. Yeah, up to jump is a pretty common thing in like bootlegs and bad games. It's the sort of decision that a person could make, but not one that they should make. Thank you. 
You can't walk left without... <laughs> oh, getting hit. Absolutely, unbelievably fucked up game. What have I missed? I've I've gone over this stage several times. Oh, okay, it's right there. At the very bottom of the bookshelf. Alright, where's the last one? Kinda of hoping to have more lives going into the... the last level this time, but it seems like I'm gonna have either the same number or fewer. There it is. I've tried the parry, but it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot. should be able to use it to put out the fire. Okay. All I have to do is get, get some power-ups, right? How hard could it be? As soon as I get it, I just lose it instantly. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters in this game. I mean, that's just a lesson about life, perhaps.
And instantly lost it again. And instantly lost it again! They really wanted to make sure you weren't having a good time here. They considered the danger of you having a good time to be just about the worst thing possible. Okay, well, I've got a double. How fast do I lose it here? Okay, not bad, not bad. Thank you. 
Is that it? Okay, I'll take it. <sighs> was that really worth the effort? I don't know that that was worth the effort. I think I ended up beating a game that did not need to be beaten. I did walk away from it hating it less than I remembered, though. Hey, that's worth something. Alright, well, we've only got two games left. I believe it's just Journey to the West and uh, Secret Scout. So let me put up a real short poll. This one's a one minute poll, so get in there. Secret Scout is the la uh, is is the other Color Dreams game on this list. Color Dreams being the company that made Master Chu, and Journey to the West is Journey to the West. Don't know don't know what to give you beyond that. Secret Scout's like a fucking Metroidvania. It is wild. Alright, looks like Secret Scout it is. Secret Scout in the Temple of Demise. You can actually kind of tell that this is a Color Dreams game. By the way, if you're not familiar with Color Dreams, uh, Color Dreams and Wisdom Tree are the same company. Uh, like that climbing animation he's doing up there on the sides of the screen, that is straight out of, like, Bible Adventures. kick. Look at this rad kick. Got his ass. Uh, I ended up speedrunning this game because during my Cusa Grande match I discovered uh, a trick I could do. Yeah, get kicked, idiot. That's my burrito.
I fell because it's not obvious where the platform is there. What is it? There's a... can't remember how to use my burrito. Hey, leave me alone. I got my first box of TNT. Yeah. No, that's where that's where I wanted to Okay, we are in the temple now. This is the Temple of Demise. Would you say that you feel awestruck by its glory? There it is. That's the button I was looking for. Good, I have a map now. down here. Okay, I'm here now.
See you, idiot. You should have thought about that before you obeyed the laws of gravity. <laughs> I fell. What's my burrito say? My burrito says that this is a delicious place to be. Oh my god, I just remembered a strategy in this game. I just remembered that when you die in a room, it takes you to like a very specific spot in the room, always on the left. So you can just... You can just, uh, die in a room and it takes you all the way to the others. Like, if I die here, I'm gonna go to the left-hand side of this room. Whoops. Yeah, the big trick I found when I was running this game back in the day... Oh, I forgot to press A and start. Ugh. How much more do I want to play this? Black Attack! Welcome! And welcome raiders, we are playing Secret Scout in the Temple of Demise. Get out of here, guy. Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Off the Blues. Uh, I am doing a marathon called Dashing Through Trash, where I dash through trash. This is some of that trash. have to get the TNT out of this room before I'm allowed to... That eagle really wanted to mess me up. Yeah, I'm doing a month-long marathon. You're, uh, you're joining us now uh, in the second week of it. I'm doing a month-long marathon of some of the worst games you've ever seen. Some of them are good games, some of them are bad games, but they're all terrible. What? Still not enough. Oh. 
Uh, all you have to do is go through that door. Does my world record do that? Oh no, am I gonna have to go back and improve it? No, because you ha- I need TNT for the run. TNT is how I do the big skippy. I gotta look at my run again. Oh yeah, these are the same eagles from uh, Noah's Ark. You're absolutely right. I don't think I ever realized that. Yeah, Big Skippy. Nope, this is this is my platform. Find your own platform. Find your own platform. This is my purse. I don't know you. Yeah, so basically the big skip is because there's a part of a level in one of the levels where you're supposed to get an item that allows you to cross a big uh, a big gap, but it turns out that you can just like throw TNT and uh, use it to jump. I demonstrate that, but I've forgotten the inputs because it's a little weird. When you throw TNT, it um, like kind of locks up your controls in a weird way and I'm not remembering how to unlock them. Cornaria, thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're doing well. No, but that was my platform. It's okay. I'm gonna warp to the left-hand side of the room. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, actually, you know what? I hate those guys. Isn't there another door in this room? I'd like for there to be another door in this room. <laughs> he just kind of like runs off. He's like, fine. I'll sit over here where no one kicks me. Is that the door I wanted? It looks like it. Gosh, I wish I had a map right now. Or a burrito.
Fine, keep your secrets, door. I didn't want to open that door anyway. I wanted to go this way, probably. I think that guy and that eagle are working together. Man, I wish I could remember how I did the bomb jumps. Because I could do some whack stuff right now if I could remember how they work. <laughs> Get killed, idiot. Dead again, huh? Pathetic. This is of course Secret Scout, in the Temple of Demise. Um, alright, you know what? Let's play a little bit of Journey to the West before we wrap up for the night. Timer wasn't running? That's okay.
All right, are you ready for the journey to the west? That wasn't a great start. Pretty sure this is how the Imagine if someone speedruns this. That would be pretty stupid. You'd <laughs> have to be a real dummy to speedrun this. Have I ever played Castlevania? Is that I'm not maybe I've heard of it, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it at least. Thanks so much for the raid. People talk about a lot of games on my stream, but I feel like you gotta know when they sound fake. Right, like, you're not gonna trick me by naming something that doesn't exist and then ask me if I've played it. I'll wake up a little earlier than that. Seemed like the continue option. What's weird about the scrolling? It's relatively smooth compared to a lot of bootlegs. level was. These little hands just appear and deal you damage. There's not really a lot of, like, predicting them or preventing them. It just, it just happens. 
Try to jump. The continue option seems to respect checkpoints. I, don't, I didn't remember that. I couldn't even see the tiger on screen. It wasn't it wasn't just like the sort of uh, 60 hertz flicker, it was just I couldn't see it at all. There's other characters too you can play as. You know, all of his friends from the Journey to the West story. You can play as any of them. Oh, I did not remember you being able to just switch between them at will. Beat it. That was actually a Cuphead boss, wasn't it? Can't believe they ripped this off from Cuphead. It's spawning me on... On the left? It's like anybody's guess sometimes where they're actually gonna respawn me, so...
Where is he going to spawn me? Who knows? Real mystery. Can't jump, huh? Yeah, I get that. So much for that. Oh. Bootleg games are wild. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. constitutes a bootleg anyway? Well, uh, the way most people use the term, they're referring to, um... I mean, so, there's another term that's often used in the same breath, and that's, uh, unlicensed. So, unlicensed just refers to the fact that it was made without Nintendo's approval. And so those games usually had either content or were made by teams that were not, like, uh... Nintendo approved to make games. Um, bootleg usually takes that a bit of a step further. Um, not always, but often bootlegs include uh, sprites and music ripped directly from other games, and in some particularly egregious examples, uh, take uh, like bit more or less entire games and just you know reskin them. Uh, this is not that. This is, um, this is, this is an original, an original game made with an original engine. Um, we're pretty much only playing the interesting ones today, the ones that are original. 
But for the most part, what's being captured by the word bootleg is just games that were not made with the Nintendo seal of approval. I had no idea where it was going to spawn me there. I didn't quite have that excuse that time. And since there's no quality control, they often, uh, I mean, they serve no masters, essentially, right? Like, you can make a game that's fundamentally broken in some way, unplayable, difficult, whatever, and, um... There's, like, nothing, nothing that stops that from happening, so... sure you can jump that gap in reality if uh, if the bridge falls. I think, I mean, it is possible to die and have it uh, spawn you on the other side, but I don't think it's possible to like, jump over there. Like, if I just jump like this, it'll spawn- it should spawn me on the right.
Alright. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. That's gonna be it for me for tonight. 